because you can't get past the rags. And God is saying, what I want to do for you, I'm camouflaging it so it can't be interrupted, but you can't get past the rags. The rags are just really hiding your deliverance. This is why God will use people undercover and covertly to be a blessing to you because if there's too much fanfare and too many lights and attention, uh, you'll focus on the wrong thing. So God has a propensity to raise up people that will actually never be chosen, never be expected, but because they know how to hide the rope with the rags, they're not looking to be celebrated. They just know that there is a deliverance with dirty rags and God can use dirty things and dirty people. Oh, you're looking at me funny. I've seen God use some dirty people. I've been downtown Buffalo and I've seen men laying in the gutter and you would think that these are homeless, ignorant, uh, uh, imbecilic men, but these were men that had PhDs and master degrees and I started talking with them and God said, not only are they dirty, but there's royalty in these rags. Some of these men right here can tell you the Bible back and forth. They can tell you theology. They can teach you soteriology. They can talk about eschatology. They can talk about demonology. They can tell you all kinds of stuff. But you wouldn't even entertain them because they're too he says, And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, said the Lord, to deliver you. I am with thee, said the Lord, to deliver thee. Now they're going to fight against you. So when you signed up and gave your life to God, you didn't sign up for a cruise, you, stole, you signed up for a fight. And you have to fight the good fight of faith. We wrestle not against flesh and blood. If there was no fighting involved, why does the scripture talk about fighting so much? But he says, they shall fight against you, but they shall not prevail. No one under the sound of my voice, no one listening to the radio should be moved by the economy. Don't worry about your 401k, your 403b, your rabbi trust, your IRA, your social security, your stocks, bonds, and annuities. Because if the truth be told, your trust is in God, it's not in the system. And when there's a famine in the land, God said, I'll make your belly fat. No one should lose sleep worried about if they're going to lose their job or if the company's going to fold up. That's not your concern. Your trust is in God. And the Bible says even when you can't control them, the heart of the king is in the hand of the Lord and he turns it where he will. God will make them keep you when they don't want you. God will provide for you when they try to block you. Am I talking to anybody in here? David finds five smooth stones, picks up a rag, and has a rag and a rock, and kills the giant. Hezekiah the king has a saw boil on the side of his face. God said, set your house in order and prepare to die. But Hezekiah takes a fig, wraps it in a rag, puts it on his saw boil, and God gives him a miracle. Well, that ain't enough for you. All right, there was a man named Lazarus who was dead for three days and they wrapped him in rags. And while he was in the tomb, Jesus said, Lazarus, come forth. And he hopped right out of the grave, wrapped up in rags. I still don't get it. Well, there was a baby born in Bethlehem. His name was Jesus. And they had him wrapped in rags wrapped in swaddling clothing and he came off the rags he is the king of kings and the lord of lords look at somebody and say neighbor thank god for dirty